Hello, I'm Maya Sofia. I am a songwriter from Galway and I discovered the occult probably because I have hippie parents who had things like crystals and tarot cards randomly lying around the house but I think I was the family member to take it to a new level and I like mm, mm, designed my first tarot deck when I was seven and it was all downhill from there. I was always writing songs for myself to sing in the bath or out in the garden or whatever when I was a kid but then when I was 13 I started kind of roughly playing guitar and started writing songs then or started like being like I'm going to make a structured song with a verse and a chorus and guitar chords to go with it. A lot of it is inspired from really basic things like conversations and relationships, but I I think I internalized very young that it's kind of like self-obsessed to like write from the first person, or I think somebody said to me like, why do you always write about yourself? And so then I internalized this feeling that like I wasn't an interesting enough subject. So I, I then started writing songs about things I had read or, or art that I liked or um, weird stories from history that had interested me. So I think that kind of stuck. And I, even though deep down, I'm kind of always writing about myself and my personal experiences, most of my songs are worked through a channel of like some kind of folklore or history that I've read about. Still find something repulsive 
expose myself indiscriminately and I've got gaps in my teeth and I've got gaps in my memory smile please smile please look down the lens and make this easy good girl this is how it has to be I was talking to my friend Molly about this the other day, um, about how we, when we both moved to Dublin and started playing gigs about seven years ago maybe, we were always the only women, like I, my first experience of gigs was just always being the only woman in the room and the only woman going to the gigs that I was going to and all the crew would be men and all the other musicians would be men and I really, that just 
was very normal and it made me become really kind of tough and hard and that I had to be like one of the lads in order to be accepted and something shifted in the last few years and now I'm like only friends with women musicians which is good but yeah there was de there definitely is still like a lot of sexism but there's so many conversations about it that I just I don't even want to talk about it but what I will say to young women who are writing songs or if in male dominated spaces is that you have to be twice as good as all the men in the room in order to be taken seriously but the good thing is you probably will be so you don't have to worry just you know fuck them <laughs> I don't know if I can swear <laughs> um yeah it's really bad like it is really bad I've had lots of really awful experiences but that's, maybe that's just being a woman in the world and the music industry is no different. So I can only, um, you know, it's only the industry that I found myself in. So maybe it's no worse than any other industry. But you can get bogged down in those conversations or we can just find other women and try and build each other up and build a support network of other women and women and other queer people and other people who are maybe not always um, the loudest voice in the room. Um, and yeah, find a support network of people who like the same things as you and then you'll be okay. That's, that's what I've been trying to do and I think it's good. Me, but the face on the page. 
And I forgive each and every one of the men who tried to wear me down and told me it was love. Anything. 